Right now, the power of books. How a local library hopes to make it easier to have that difficult conversation. The topic of racism. Plus, bond is set for the man accused of killing a co-worker earlier this week at a Janesville workplace. What charges Kevin Todd faces tonight? And a fireball caught on video along an Ohio highway when two semis collide near Cleveland. It's all coming up on News 3 Now at 10. And thanks for joining us tonight. The Monona Library taking a new approach to community service, hoping to spark what it's calling a much needed conversation on anti-racism. Naturally, it's using books to do it. Tahlil Mohdeen joins us with more on the library's big community read. Tahlil? We recognize that we have a lot of work to do. The Monona Library is getting on board with a new model of community engagement. Before, libraries would kind of be more or less neutral and recognizing that that no longer is an option, that we need to help the community learn. Staff working to start conversations about race. It began after a staff read of the book Me and White Supremacy. Addressing the needs of their community. There is a desire to understand more about social justice in our community and take action. Launching a community read centered on three books discussing anti-racism and taking an all-ages approach. It's only until we take a generational approach with this topic that we can really make a difference within the community. Hoping to normalize talking about race. Children will say, I was wondering where you came from. I was wondering why you look the way you do. Monona Library partnering with others in the community. Given that we're a predominantly white staff, um, we know that we also need to be working with other stakeholders in the community. In an attempt at early intervention. That information is already grounded in them so that they're not stopped by someone's skin tone. They're not stopped by how your hair is. And they say children are interested. Anytime you bring a book about different cultures, they love it. They absorb all this information. Hoping to bring everyone together over a good book or three. There will be community programming around the books, such as story times, book discussions, and zine making. Monona Library will be handing out 500 free copies of these books on May 14th at their kickoff event at Dream Park right across from the library. Tahlil, thank you. It's turned out to be another wet and dreary evening. This trend likely continues on into the weekend. Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti on the backyard patio and our certified most accurate forecast. Gary. Well, Eric, the showers have ended for now. The pavement's actually driving, drying out a little bit below me, but we got more showers and some thunderstorms on the way. Time lapse in the WIC sky cam shows mostly cloudy skies all day today, and then the showers started to come in toward the latter part of the afternoon and into the evening. And you can see that band of showers lifting to the north and east across central Wisconsin, but more showers and some thunderstorms now developing across parts of eastern Iowa and northwestern Illinois. Some of the showers now reaching uh, around Platteville and Darlington and will be spreading northeastward toward Madison, so the next round of rain will be moving through over the next couple of hours. High temperatures today, mid to upper 60s. Madison, 64 degrees, 67 in Boskville. Notice cooler near Lake Michigan. Temperatures only in the 50s there. And right now, temperatures are between about 50 and 55 over southern Wisconsin. By tomorrow morning, we'll be in the upper 40s. We'll see some rain showers, some thunderstorms overnight. Those will continue through the day tomorrow with a high of 60. There could be a threat for a strong to severe thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. I'll have more on that in the forecast in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. With this stretch of wet days ahead, now is the time to download our free Channel 3000 First Warm Weather app. Everything you need to know about the local weather right in the palm of your hand. Next at 10, bond has been set at a million dollars for the man accused of fatally shooting a co-worker at Precision Drawn Metals in Janesville earlier this week. 23-year-old Kevin Todd faces one count of first-degree intentional homicide, three counts of first-degree recklessly endangering safety. He had worked at the company for only one week before that shooting. New at 10, Sun Prairie Police say a 34-year-old has been arrested tonight in connection to a shots-fired incident this week where three homes were hit by gunfire. The man from Marshall was arrested today in Stoughton. They say the shot Shots fired happened in the area of Vandenberg Street at Aspen Place on Wednesday night. Police say the incident was targeted, not random. No people were hit. Classes set to resume Monday after a fire damaged a portion of St. Dennis Catholic School on Madison's east side yesterday. Today, Paris officials, parish officials say several rooms in the school's lower level suffered water and smoke damage. Damage to the art room and a storage area was extensive. The church and fellowship hall were not damaged. One person has now died from injuries suffered in a crash on Whitney Way in Madison yesterday. It happened about 2 a.m. when the vehicle crashed into a tree. Two adults were inside the car at the time, were taken to the hospital 
one with one of the adults suffering what police called very significant injuries. Police say the investigation into that crash is ongoing. New video tonight, a semi truck with a flammable load explodes after crashing into another truck on an Ohio turnpike in Lorain County earlier this week. This is a surveillance camera shot belonging to the Ohio DOT showing the moment when the truck erupted into a massive fireball in the aftermath with the destroyed vehicles. The Ohio State Patrol did not report any injuries. A bizarre story from State Street tonight. Madison police tell us they received a number of calls from people yesterday who either found or watched a man drop hundreds of hypodermic needles on the ground. He didn't just do it on State Street. MPD says the needles were also found on East Washington Avenue, Mifflin Street, as well as at Peace Park. Madison police say they're currently reviewing city cameras in hopes of being able to identify the suspect here. There's a probable cause to arrest one person, but that arrest has not yet been made. One witness told dispatchers a man was saying, quote, you are all going to die while tossing the needles on the ground. By uh, Peace Park, there was a dozen different uh, those needles and it might be somebody's sense of a uh, joke or something, but it can be a serious issue out this way. We did speak with an officer who says she was out patrolling the area and making sure no other needles were found on the ground today. Police have not released a suspect description, but he could face several felonies if arrested. The man accused of intentionally setting a tiny home on fire in an encampment on Madison's east side has been ruled competent for trial on arson charges. 37-year-old Jeffrey Jelinski, who was arrested after the fire at the city-sanctioned Dairy Drive encampment last month, faces a felony arson charge in addition to two counts of threats to a law enforcement officer. Prosecutors accused Jelinski of intentionally setting fire to the tiny home after being temporarily banned from the facility due to his behavior. Shortly after collecting his belongings, the unit was on fire. A Milwaukee County jury has reached its verdict. Clifton Blackwell charged with a hate crime, among other things, after throwing acid on a Latino man a couple years ago after they got into a fight about a parking spot. After about five hours of deliberations, the jury made its decision. We, the jury, find the defendant, Mr. Clifton Blackwell, guilty of first-degree reckless injury. 64-year-old faces up to 20 years in prison. His sentencing set for May 18th. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says mass graves with some 900 bodies have been found so far in an area around the capital city of Kyiv. Meanwhile, Russian forces are fiercely fighting to make inroads in Ukraine's east and south while Ukrainian officials are hoping lives can be saved in the besieged port city of Mariupol. Here's Skylar Henry. In Mariupol, the mayor says Ukrainian troops and civilians holed up in a steel mill are running out of food, water, and medicine. This fighter, among those sheltering in the plant, says he hopes a U.N. plan will allow the evacuation of civilians from the devastated southern port city. On Friday, Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby grew emotional when discussing Russian leader Vladimir Putin's frame of mind. It's difficult to look at some of the images and imagine that any well-thinking, serious, mature leader would do that. <clears throat> so... I can't talk to his psychology, but uh, I think we can all speak to his depravity. The White House addressed the prospect that Putin will attend the G20 summit in Indonesia this November. It is six months away, uh, so we don't, uh, we don't know how to predict. We can't predict at this point what that will look like. American shipments of weapons and equipment to Ukraine continue as President Biden urges Congress to authorize an additional $33 billion for Ukraine's defense. We're working through making sure that we're able to get that airlifted uh, across. And 22-year-old American Willie Joseph Cancel is now the first American citizen believed to be killed fighting for Ukraine. He wants to help the innocent people of Ukraine. That's all he wanted to do. The Marine veteran is said to have joined the conflict working for a private military contractor in March. He leaves behind his wife and a seven-month-old son. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And more local news now, marking the grand opening of a new equestrian campground at Governor Dodge State Park in Dodgeville. One, two, three, go. The new equestrian campground boasts 20 campsites, 18 with electric hookups. Each campsite includes a highline hitching post with cable, a picnic table, fire ring. Improvements include easier access to maneuver horse trailers and campers. The annual Crazy Legs Classic Run Walk is back tomorrow. Each year, about 12,000 people participate, raising money for UW Athletics. Walkers will start their two-mile route about 9.50 a.m. Runners will start their 8K at about 10.15 at Library Mall. Both groups will end their routes under the 
the arch at Camp Randall. Here's a map of the route. And like every year, there will be several downtown street closures. City officials say the streets most affected will be West Gilman, Langdon, University, West Johnson, North Charter, and West Dayton. Still to come tonight, Gary's got a full weekend forecast and if the weather will hold up for crazy legs. Plus, a dog's breed may determine its color or size, but when it comes to personality, all bets are off. The findings from a pair of new studies. That's next. Save more at hy -Vee. Buy two, get one free on select Coke products. Select Frito-Lay chips, only $1.99 when you buy three. Five-ounce Choice Reserve Sirloin Filets, only $2.99. And eight-ounce, only $4.48. Only at hy -Vee. Hey sis, check out this cute spot. Bougie. I prefer my coffee with a view. Time to put the work in. Safety first. The 2022 Chevy Blazer and Trailblazer with standard Chevy safety assist. Part of the Chevy family of SUVs. Find new experiences. Find new roads. Add a new Chevy to your driveway. Very well qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy vehicles. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. What can Sono Bello do for you? How about a new shape? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I just put this dress on that I haven't worn in over 10 years. New confidence. I can see a huge difference. Look at this. New you. I can wear a little black dress. I feel sexy. With Sono Bello, you can remove stubborn body fat permanently in just one visit. Don't wait a moment longer to reveal the new you. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation with Sono Bello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and find out how you can get $250 off. Sono Bello uses TriSculpt Micro Laser Liposuction to remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently for incredible transformations in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Call 1 888 622 8360 or go to sonobello.com. There are so many things things we take for granted and along with them sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too how can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living and through no fault of their own they're being left behind if you or someone you know needs a hand up our energy water and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safely in your home you may not ask for it but we're here to help it's the Big Snack Sale, Friday through Sunday at High V. Goldfish crackers, three for only $5. Select Frito-Lay snacks, three for only $5. And Nature Valley bars, two for only $4. Scan the QR code or check out HyVDeals.com for more deals. When it seems like there's nowhere else to turn, they're here to help. Take people who are floundering about what to do to solve a problem and help them get to a solution. Meet the members of the News 3 Now Call for Action team, Sunday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. A recall notice tonight. Ford Motor Company recalling more than a quarter million explorers in the U.S. because they can apparently roll away unexpectedly while in park. The recall covers certain 2020 through 2022 explorers. 20 years ago now, the TSA set up shop in its first airport. Today, the agency honored its humble beginnings with a ceremony at that very airport where it all started. BWI, Baltimore Washington International. It was created after the 9-11 attacks. Now, back then, the TSA consisted of only about 100 people. 20 years later, the TSA operates with about 60,000 employees in 430 federalized airports nationwide. Now, we'll check out the scene at San Diego International Airport. A plane bound for the state of Washington was stuck here on the runway after a feathery passenger wandered into the plane's path. The delay, a pelican that wouldn't move out of the way. Ultimately, a vehicle on the airport property helped move that pelican along. Actor Willem Dafoe is set to receive an honorary doctorate from the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee next month. It'll happen May 22nd when he's slated to speak at the school's two graduation ceremonies. The Appleton native attended UWM in 73 and 74 before then leaving to become part of Theater X, an independent experimental theater company. Now since then, Dafoe has appeared in more than 100 films. And in Marquette, NBA legend Dwayne Wade will deliver the commencement address this spring. Wade, of course, led Marquette to that final four back in 2003 and 
since then, a three-time NBA champ, Olympic gold medalist, one of the top 75 players in NBA history. Spring commencement set for May 22nd there as well. Well, you might think we know which dog breeds have the best and crankiest personalities, but it turns out those stereotypes are not supported by science. Astrid Martinez tells us every dog is unique. Larry Rosenberg says his Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is ideal for New York apartment living. He's only five months old and he's a puppy. He requires a tremendous amount of exercise. But they eventually really evolve into lap dogs, which they were, they were sort of bred to be. And Roxana Enrique says her rat terrier is the affectionate pup she was hoping for. He's very just chill and very loving. But a genetic study at the University of Massachusetts finds the breed explains only 9% of a dog's behavior. The rest might be shaped by environment and life experience, meaning not all retrievers retrieve and not all huskies howl. You know, sometimes I think we have a tendency to pay attention to the dogs, kind of remember the ones that fit into our stereotypes and forget about the ones that don't fit into our stereotypes. A dog's breed might not predict its behavior, but it might tell us something about how long your pup is likely to live. A study from the Royal Veterinary College found a broad range in life expectancies. Jack Russell Terriers live the longest, averaging 12.7 years, and French Bulldogs are at the bottom of the list with a life expectancy of just four and a half years. But at the dog park, age is just a number. It's all about attitude. I would describe her personality as friendly, but um, she's also kind of the queen bee, so she doesn't get pushed around really easily. With dogs, just like their human friends, each one is truly unique. Astrid Martinez, CBS News, New York. Researchers surveyed the owners of more than 18,000 dogs for that personality study. Well, tomorrow, if someone you know is looking for a job, Kroger, the parent company of Pick and Save and several other grocery chains holding a spring hiring event will be held both in person, also virtually, 1 to 5 p.m. And we have a link on our website and how you can take part. The company hoping to fill 23,000 open jobs across all departments at its stores. Wisconsin planted more than 9.3 million trees last year after the governor signed the Trillion Trees Pledge last Earth Day. As part of an executive order, the governor pledged the state would, in partnership with public and non-governmental groups, plant 75 million trees and preserve 125,000 acres of forests by the end of 2030. A reminder, voting for Best of Madison ends tomorrow. You'll only be able to vote once per category, so consider your pick and make your vote count. You can find a link where you can cast your last-minute votes at channel3000.com. Stargazers will have the chance to experience a big celestial event tomorrow morning. NASA says Jupiter and Venus will have a planetary conjunction in which they appear to nearly collide. The two shining dots in the sky will, emer will merge, ending in a very bright, spectacular glow. If you miss it, you might have another chance on Sunday, but the positions of the planets will then be reversed. And as always, when we mention such things, what about cloud cover? And Gary, I think we're going to have a lot of it this weekend. I think if you see that, you're probably you're not going to be around else. here. Yeah, because we got plenty of clouds in the forecast, actually, for almost for the next week or so. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Tomorrow should be a windy and somewhat stormy day. Uh, we have the potential for showers and thunderstorms overnight through Saturday night. And some of those could be strong late tomorrow afternoon into early tomorrow evening. Then we'll see our temperatures drop back into the 50s for next week. And then Monday, at two, uh, Monday night and Tuesday and Thursday afternoon through Friday, some shower chances next week. Crazy legs run tomorrow. Well, expect rain and uh, windy conditions. It's not out of the question there could be a thunderstorm. Right now, I'm hoping that those at least will stay away for the morning hours. But otherwise, look for temperatures in the upper 40s to the lower 50s. High resolution Doppler radar right now showing the first batch of light showers lifting to the northeast. Showers and a couple of thunderstorms now starting to approach southwestern Wisconsin. A little wider radar perspective shows more showers and storms back to the west and then a squall line of thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms from uh, now east of Omaha, Nebraska through Kansas City and then down to west of or east of Wichita, Kansas. Some of these storms right now, these are all severe thunderstorm warnings along the line, but there were several tornado warnings before. In fact, storm reports show uh, several tornadoes tornado reports east of Wichita, up around Manhattan, Kansas, and central portions of Nebraska, and then a lot of wind and hail reports into western Iowa. Now tomorrow, the severe weather threat shifts eastward. Not
not as intense as tonight, but there is a marginal risk, level one risk of severe thunderstorms from Madison northward, a slight risk or level two to the south and east of Madison. An outside threat for a tornado, the highest probabilities across northern Illinois and far southeastern Wisconsin, perhaps an isolated tornado north of Madison, but then you can see the hail or the uh, wind threat highest to the south and east of Madison, as well as the hail threat as well. The northern extent of this will be determined by temperatures. Uh, some of the areas north of Madison may stay in the 50s, and that would lower the severe weather threat. High temperatures today in the mid 60s. That was nice just because we didn't have much rain during the day. To the southwest, temperatures were near 90 over Kansas, and now you can see those temperatures have dropped back about 30 to almost 40 degrees behind a cold front. Kansas City still at 71 degrees, but the warm and increasingly humid air with dew point temperatures into the 60s starting to move eastward, and that's what will keep the shower and thunderstorm threat for us tonight. So you can see that line of storms developing around a couple of areas of low pressure out to the west. There's a stationary front with milder conditions to our south and west. Actually, it's more the humidity than anything else. Temperature difference isn't that much, but the dew point temperatures are certainly higher on the other side of that stationary front. And you can see scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through in waves. Tomorrow afternoon, as a cold front approaches, there could be a narrow line of thunderstorms. That's when the severe weather threat would be highest. After that, cooler weather moves in, and that'll be with us for much of next week. Tomorrow, showers, thunderstorms, it'll be windy. High temperature at 60 degrees on future track. Again, a couple of waves of showers and thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the upper 40s. Tomorrow, high temperature 60 in Madison, but notice 50s to the north. Low to mid 60s to the south. That's where the severe weather threat will be a little bit higher. Once the cold front comes through, the thunderstorm threat ends. Maybe a slight chance for a shower on Sunday with highs in the low to mid 50s. Rainfall amounts, that's the good news. About a half inch to an inch of rain most areas through early Monday morning. Temperatures, though, in the 50s next week. Some shower chances from Monday night into Tuesday. Maybe a thunderstorm there. And then from Thursday afternoon into Friday, a warm-up as we head toward next weekend. And coming up in sports, the champs were out at the ballpark tonight while AmFam Field was celebrating Badger Volleyball and the Long Ball. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Born Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2022. Vote for your favorites online, including Fry Construction for Best Kitchen and Bath Design, Best Roofer, and Best Window and Doors. Vote Fry Construction at MadisonMagazine.com. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy pickup trucks. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Chevy truck with accessories. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. When 140 mile per hour winds come out of nowhere and try to wipe you off the map. When you look up and see sky where your roof used to be. When the power is out and stays out for seven or eight or 10 days. When the phone lines are down and the cell phones have all gone dead, you find out who your friends are because the worst brings out our best. A million dollars worth of the best hot tubs in Madison are at Leisure Concepts. And right now, get immediate free delivery, free ozone system, cover lift, matching entry steps, supplies, and training. Our showroom is packed with brand new hot tubs for immediate delivery. We're including everything you need and all at a great low spring price. Leisure Concepts is open seven days a week. Stop into our packed showroom in Madison on the Beltline at the Park Street exit. Wow, this is where you work now? Figured I deserved a more inspiring space. And with home values being up, I had a lot of equity. So I got a home equity line of credit from Summit, and voila, added a home office. Took your business to the next level. Hey, you two have been in your place for a couple years now. Any fun plans? Well, we just finished a refi with Summit. Really? Mm -hmm. And the plan is to make a bunch of great memories. We're gonna use the savings to get a camper. Whatever your goals, Summit Credit Union can help you use your home's equity to go get them. With eye care, the medicine you need may cost less than ever before. New in 2022, you pay a $0 copay for all of your Medicare-eligible Part D drugs up to the coverage gap. Then your cost will be the typical extra help copay amount. You'll also receive up to $2,500 in dental benefits and $300 in vision benefits. 
Call the Eye Care Benefits Helpline for a free consultation to get all the benefits you're entitled to. Rest easy. Eye Care is looking out for you and your health. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2022. Vote for your favorites online, including Fry Construction for Best Kitchen and Bath Design, Best Roofer, and Best Window and Doors. Vote Fry Construction at madisonmagazine.com. Day one of the draft, the Packers went all defense. Today, it was the other side of the ball, and they wasted no time. Green Bay traded two picks to the Vikings to move up to grab their receiver, NDSU's Christian Watson. Last year with the Bison, he caught 43 passes for 801 yards and seven touchdowns. Now, his dad, Tim, was also drafted by the Packers back in 1993. And with their final pick of the day, they took UCLA offensive tackle Sean Ryan. It's good to be Sarah Nurse right now. In February, the former Badger set an Olympic record, scoring 18 points in the games, and in the process led Canada to a gold medal in Beijing. Well, the medal and Nurse were back in Madison today ahead of Saturday's Crazy Legs Classic, where she's the Grand Marshal. And for Nurse, the best part of the trip, just being back home. I am so honored to be the Crazy Legs Grand Marshal. I think that it's such a cool thing that I'm able to do. I've, I've gotten to see a lot of amazing people since I've been back, and being back in Madison has been so special. Um, I literally got in yesterday and I was like, oh, I feel like I'm home. So seeing the places I used to eat, seeing where I used to walk, like there are just so many memories here, so many amazing memories, and Madison is just really all-encompassing for me, and it's always going to have a special place in my heart. Ten hours on a bus doesn't sound like a lot of fun. And that is unless you're the Madison Capitals. On Tuesday night, they made the trek home after sweeping the Phantoms in the first round of the USHL playoffs. The series win got them a date with the Steel in the conference semifinals and kept their historic season alive. Remember, the Bad Caps didn't play a game last season, and that's all this group wants to continue to do, just keep skating together. We try not to think too much about what other people think about us and all the success we've had this year because at the end of it, we don't want it to end. We want to keep having success. We want to be the first team in history to make playoffs and win more, more than one series. So we just take it one step at a time and enjoy every moment of it. We just kind of try to focus on making more history and winning more hockey games and staying here for as long as possible and getting to enjoy it. Final game of the year for Cole Caulfield and the Canadians and the former Badger made it count. He lit the lamp three times to record his first career NHL hat trick. Caulfield closes out the rookie, his rookie season with 23 goals. Big night at AmFam Field tonight with, Bad, with the national champions in the house. Badger Volleyball and their natty was honored before the game and Lauren Barnes threw out the first pitch. Cubs could have used her on the mound tonight. Second inning, crew already up a run, and Jace Peterson goes yard with a two-run dinger. One of five home runs they hit. This one's still going on. Brewers up 11-1. to one. And Steve Stricker made his return to golf today, and it felt like he never left. Stricker birdied his first two holes after six months away from the game. And how about this? He's five under, tied for the lead. And Leo Chanel, the first Badger drafted tonight, or in the NFL draft, actually, this season. He's going to the Chiefs. We'll back after this. He's got to get on it. Be good. Just got it. It's Chevy Truck Month, and it's time to add the perfect accessories to your new Chevy. Make it bolder. Make it work harder. Make it your own. Find new possibilities. Find new roads. Very well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing on most Chevy pickup trucks. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance toward the eligible purchase of a new Chevy truck with accessories. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. It's like I'm downloading in slow motion. Wish we had better internet. Charlie! That's right, it's me, Charlie. Wish specialist for Spectrum. Let's get that wish granted. How? Spectrum internet delivers speeds of 200 megabits for a stronger connection on all your devices. Here! Here! Yeah! And here. Plus, get a free modem and free desktop security to keep your kids safe. Hold on. Get Spectrum internet for $49.99 a month. Call 833-768-4999. Why do we need all these remotes? I wish our shows were in one place. Spectrum TV makes it easy to find your favorites. Plus, you'll have access to over 85,000 titles on demand. And with the free Spectrum TV app, you can watch live sports, news, and more on any device, anywhere. 
Get Spectrum TV for $49.99 a month. Call 833-768-4999. I wish we didn't have a contract. Granted. Oh, he's good. Switch to Spectrum Internet or TV or get them both for $49.99 a month each. All with no contracts. Call 833-768-4999. Culver's couldn't have started anywhere but in Sauk City, Wisconsin. Still today, we are a family restaurant. Here, nearby farms grow the food we eat, smiles are contagious, and everyone is someone's neighbor. It's a place where our love of fresh food is as strong as our love for each other. It's a feeling of welcome you'll notice the moment you stop by. Because where we come from has made us who we are. And for that, we couldn't be more proud. Welcome to Delicious. It's time. Get back to your health and fitness goals by joining Anytime Fitness for just $1. Now through May 2nd, get a coach, get going, get fit. Join Anytime Fitness for just $1. Now through May 2nd. Hurry in today. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison 2022. Vote for your favorites online, including Don's Home Furniture, Best Furniture, Best Home Accessories, Best Outdoor Living. Vote Don's Home Furniture today at madisonmagazine.com. <laughs> Every time. You think she's still awake? Don't worry. Stealth mode? Yeah. Okay, shh, shh. <laughs> Don't PT and meetings end at nine. It ran. Oh, got lost. Wait, what'd you guys talk about? Oh, the uh, math. Libraries. Fine. You can drive to practice this weekend. Well, that was easy. What? I mean, I love you guys. The Lexus RX, built for modern families. Every day, News 3 Now investigates. Zach, we got a late run on Badgers tonight. Yeah, how about that? We go to commercial, and then Logan Bruss gets picked up by the Rams just after Leo Chanel's uh, chief. Probably. Two Badgers already. Probably more coming oh, tomorrow, tomorrow rounds yeah. four through seven. Gary, final check. Well, we got some showers and some even some thunderstorms down across, uh, well, far southern Wisconsin now, starting to see some flashes of lightning uh, just to the east of Monroe. So expect some showers and thunderstorms tonight, off and on through the day tomorrow. Uh, temperatures right now are in the 50s. Look for a low tonight of about 48, high tomorrow 60. That temperature critical. The warmer it is, the greater the severe weather threat would be. But after that, we're back to the 50s for most of next week with some showers, maybe a thunderstorm on Tuesday. Have to wait until next weekend to warm back up in the 60s. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 10. We hope you have a great weekend.